so mother is resting right now um she's trying to do too much actually matter of fact um but we are time trying to set up the medication so right now i have a schedule on the um vent hood with a checklist for all the times that need to be done but i also created it on her phone for when i have to leave she will have it on her phone sending her reminders that will come through and so this is what it looks like on the health app it allows you to add your medications in as like a timer like a reminder so you can add all of them in like so so these are all the ones like at 8 a.m she has to take all of these and then so on so she'll get a reminder on her phone and then she'll check off whether she took it or not and you just enter in all of the ones you can make them colors and match them to what they actually look like and then set the days and times you need to take them and then like the specifications of them all like how many milligrams is in each one and blah blah, blah and so on so that's what we're working with right now she's on a schedule of taking different ones every two hours and like a rotating so she takes one two three four and then back to one two three four and then so on so on we're trying to see tonight how it's going to be because there's one specific pain medication that's stronger so she doesn't know if she wants to take that now well did you take it well never mind she took it so we're trying to see how it'll be through the night as well because if she'll be able to sleep through the night or she'll have to wake up every two hours Huh? We're doing pain management because we don't. She said it's been at like a one and a half right now out of ten. So that's good. We're trying to stay ahead of it because they said once you get behind and try to catch up, it's just not fun. So we're staying on the consistent every two hours. Probably for the first few days until you can start to like maybe pull back on the tramadol um because they said the tramadol this one particular pill is the it's like a, the strongest and they said to only take it if the others aren't working so hopefully in like a few days she'll be able to not use that one and then focus on like the because they're they prescribe like ibuprofen and tylenol like over-the-counter stuff i'm not a doctor but I was reading and this is the, this is the schedule we've created here so you have to check them off mom throughout the day so you remember because it gets confusing if you're like wait which one did I just take was it the GABA GABA or was it the ibuprofen I don't remember wait last night girl you didn't take that yet. <laughs> no like if you're trying to remember So you have to check them off. Don't play with me. I'm actually gonna put them up here so you can write. Can you see above this thing? You're tall. Oh, sorry. What's up, Pazza Babes? It's your girl Joy back with another banger. I'm on the next phase of ending car life. Putting the seats in. Darwin's gonna figure it out. Mm -hmm. And I'm the type of person, I don't really like to ask for favors and ask for help, but I've been, honestly, I've been so overwhelmed. I was talking to one of my sweet subscribers. You need to go follow her channel. 
y'all. I don't even know the name of the channel, but I'm gonna put it in the description box. Y'all need to follow her videos are good. She makes great content. So I need to take some editing lessons from her, but I'm not sure of the channel. Is it Leah Ray? I don't know. I'm gonna put it in the comment section below. She's super sweet. <laughs> so she was checking on me and I don't know, just telling her all the things that is going on, it just made me start to break down and cry. And like, I don't say everything on my channel and I try to be as positive as possible. Or if something's going on, I try not to stay there. You know what I mean? But it was just, it's so much. And I, I guess talking about it, everything, it just made me break down and how you know certain things could be done certain people are making it difficult it's just a lot and a lot that i i haven't shared don't get me started y'all and i don't know it could be you know i was coming off anesthesia so maybe it's that my body trying to figure out what's going on and so this will be something i could check off my list because it's been bothering me and i know and I knew after surgery, I think I'm, I'm having heartburn right now because I ate a, a quick sandwich. And I knew after surgery, I definitely wouldn't be able to do this. So I just swallowed my pride. <laughs> Don't be looking at my side. Let me go on this side, let me go on this side. And I was like, Darwin, I need favor, please. You know, and this is the, uh, remember the couple who uh, dug me out of the sand and got me out of the sand when I was on the beach? I mean, they're just, he's just so sweet. He looked like a rough, tough guy, but he's a sweet teddy bear. The sweetest teddy bear ever. He's just so sweet. So if you're in the Spring Houston area and you need a handyman, he's your guy. I will also leave his information in the description box below. And so he's all over town being a handyman. Look, I don't have much to give, but I'll give him a few dollars. I don't got much. It's hard on a weak girl. But sweet as sweet as a bun. Hey, Darwin, you gotta say, gotta say hi, Dar. Hello. <laughs> He's sweet. He doesn't drink, doesn't smoke. I'm like, nothing. He's like, no, no, just not even interested. Doesn't interest me. Sweet. His wife is sweet. So I met her, I believe, in 2015. That's when I met Monica, his wife sweet sweet and we just stayed friends and she you know checks on me and she's sweet and i remember one year when the kids were a lot younger you know since they have family in texas they invited us over for thanksgiving and the kids were young i don't know maybe 10 11 and 12 maybe because you know they all stair steps and darwin's darwin's mother was like sit down somewhere was that your mother yeah yeah Darwin's mother's like, sit down somewhere talking to Clinton. <laughs> sit down somewhere. It was so funny. <laughs> It's like a puzzle. I would have had a hard time doing this myself. You know, I always want to say I could do anything. I mean, I can if I put my mind to it. It would have just taken me a long time. But with the surgery, there's no way I could have done it. You know, staying with the no lifting requirements and stuff like that. Because the seats are heavy. I did bring them out of storage. And it was, <laughs> I posted a video on that and me trying to get, the, I just threw the seats in there. And that was bothering me because it looked like a junkyard. So just trying to, trying to, you know, and I don't know if I'm getting a little weird because now my, all my shoes in a hotel got to be lined up. And when I run to the bathroom, I have flip-flops. I don't be putting my feet on nobody's floor, right? So I have flip-flops. And when I go in, when I get in bed, so let's just say I'm crawling in bed this way, I turn around, put my flip-flops down next to each other, and then I get in bed because when I get out of bed, I just slip my feet right in, you know? So I don't want the flip-flop facing this way because then I got to turn them around. Weird. What happened? Uh-oh, be careful. 
And I know that's heavy, Bobby. At least you're getting your workout in. It's not bad. I'm actually going to be dog sitting um, for my friend. I love those dogs. I don't know if I shared them on the vlog with you. Like, you know, I just opened the door. I still lay there. And Bobby was like, but your medicine, who's going to give you your medicine? I said, Bobby, that doesn't mean you can't come over and set everything up. That doesn't mean you can't come here, you know, to the lady's house. She was like, but who's going to give you your medicine? Because I don't know what I be thinking. She has it all synchronized. She has it down to a sign. So now what I'm doing, I'm trying to go three hours without medicine. You know, trying to extend it. But I did stick to the pain management schedule every two hours. I mean, she set alarms where I was waking up at two in the morning, four in the morning, six in the morning. So I stuck to the schedule. And then if something happened in the middle of the night, she would jump up. And then one day I was like, oh, I think I want pizza. She jumped right up. No, no, no fussing, no nothing. And went and got some pizza, which wasn't good. It was a little Caesar's pizza. But she has truly been a blessing. And outside of going to work or something like that, she's been by my side the whole time. It's not like she's making plans with this person, that person, no. She's been stuck to my side. Like, ooh, and I keep telling her she could go, she could go. But I think um, her and her boyfriend are, are gonna go out for their anniversary. It's their anniversary. <laughs> So she's been super, super, super helpful I'm doing the cooking and anything I want. I'm just so grateful. You know, you have certain people in your life. You just, you don't talk to them all the time. Um, you know what I'm saying? It, it's not like you have to be with them all the time, talking to them every day. But you know, if they need you or you need them, they'll always be there. And that's like Darwin and Monica. Um, cause baby, when I got stuck, they were out there. They came, I think one in the morning. I don't know. You have to go back and watch that video. Maybe I'll try to find it and link it. They came out there, honey, and did they thing. And they took me to breakfast and showed me where I could go park overnight. So, I mean, they're just wonderful people. And sometimes when you think, well, for me that, you know, I'm alone, there's still going to be people out there that'll do things for me and, and, you know who love me and so you know just gives me little reminders because sometimes you know sitting here i was like i don't even got that many friends but you know friends come in all different all different ways it doesn't have to be a friend you talk to every day but if you need it they're gonna be there and you find out who your real friends are when you're down that's when you really find your real friends when you're down you really need help there will be people and sometimes those people come in the form of a stranger comes in the form of a stranger i didn't have much money the other day and where was i i think i was at mcdonald's i think it was mcdonald's and when i went up to the window to pay um didn't record it or anything but when i went up to the window to pay i was like you know my money was kind of funny it's always funny it's about to really be funny um so my nerves are a little bad and I was like, well, how much was the order the, for the person behind me? He was like, $11. I was like, okay, I'll pay for theirs. <laughs> and I said, it'll come back to me tenfold. And it, I wasn't thinking about it. It was just something that I did spontaneously. It wasn't something like I went out going to do it. And I've done that several times, especially paying tolls. I would usually pay the person's toll behind me. Mm -hmm. So no matter what you're going through, you're not alone. And you have me, Mama Basil. And my email is attached. Um, I don't check it as often, but I will start to look at my emails. So if you have any questions or um, suggestions or anything you want to ask me, you know, I've been on this earth a long time, been through a lot, you know, give me some good advice. <laughs> okay, 
so with that said, I won't be eating a lot of job getting all this chocolate, honey, okay. And I hear there's a natural hack if you put some water in vanilla. I think it's vanilla. They don't like that. They don't like that. If I'd known, I would have put some on me. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to sit down and drink some water. But even though y'all see me in these videos, um, after I do my little one, two, one, two step dance or whatever, I'm sitting my butt down. I'll sit my butt down. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm not sure if this is the end of the video, but if it's not, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, send your girl some love, and I'm sending you my love and my joy. Whoosh -ah, whoosh -ah, whoosh -ah. <laughs> and no matter what you're going through, try to keep your head up, try to find a positive, find the lesson, find the reason why this is happening. You may not know the reason. You may figure out the reason down the road. You know? That's just life for you. It is what it is. Cause baby, I got a lot going on up here. I don't know how I'm gonna survive this. It is what it is. Something to work out. All right, y'all. Until next time. Later. Y'all see, I'm on a good side. I'm on a good side. <laughs> Until next time. Later.